Cool kids. What's up, cool kids? How we doing? Yes, yes, yes. It's another beautiful, beautiful day here in my world where you get to see me open my mail and talk about my stuff. Wow, what a treat. What a goddamn treat. So, first of all, cool kids, I showed you guys this coin last video. Didn't get a chance to put it in the Deluxe Premier Flip or tell you how much under melt it was. It was under melt, which is what you want. 68% silver, 0.4372 troy ounces. It's a fun for $12.90 and uh, the melt on it's uh, above 13 so it is under melt. I, like I said it ain't much under melt just under melt. But anything under melt is a win. We've got our friendly dandy way to go Josh for having it cut it on bet. All the cool kids have cut it on bets and yeah, it's, it's going to be a fun time. I only have one envelope to open, and it's one coin. And it's a lesson, all right? It's a lesson and on how not to buy silver. Kind of. It's got, there's a caveat to that. So I bid on a bunch of silver coins with combined shipping, but the shipping was $5 per coin. Well, I had I had to sleep. What's up? And we're go. So this cost twelve dollars and thirty five cents. It was four dollars and thirty five cents shipping, but that was no matter how many coins you got. I only won one because I had to sleep. So it might have been worth it. This is one of the few instances. Usually I tell you guys bid on it once and don't bid again. This would be one of the exceptions to that rule. Uh, but on the other hand the coin itself is collectible so we're going to show you that now this is the coin all right there we go anyway that coin is from 1928 and I actually have a couple of them already and I've never paid over eight bucks for one but they had several of these and I wanted to get three or four of them it wasn't this coin exactly it was different dates on these two shillings so it's a two shilling uh, this is one of the more common ones but they're all collectible coins uh, you know like the kind of the last really cool coins Austria came out with I don't really think that's exactly true, but I think there is a step down after these. Um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and write 1235 right here. And it is, it's in nice shape, man. It's in nice shape. It's got, I'm seeing cartwheels, you know. Uh, I don't know. But we're going to put 12 dollars and 35 cents which is what we paid now the melt value for this coin is about eight bucks so we did pay quite a bit over melt we're gonna look it up real quick so give me just a second but it also came with a sweet card so maybe maybe I can contact and you guys can contact these cats check out their stuff um, yeah I just got unlucky I had to sleep when the auctions were ending so I missed out on the other three or four of those coins. Uh, I think there was a 1936, and some, there were some cool ones. I think one of them had Mozart on it. Um, and there was another one that was super rare. Uh, I bid actually like 40 bucks on that one and still didn't win it. So, yeah, yeah. Ugh. You know, just so I could get like a tight set of these two shillings. But yeah, it just wasn't to be, man. Uh, 
Well, that's okay. I did overpay, but it's only because, uh, you know, I, it's my own stupidity, I guess. But it's a good lesson for you guys. Now, what's it actually worth? Well, we could say this one's probably AU or so. Um, we definitely got some good uh, cartwheels there, good uh, luster. So, 1928, two shilling. Here we go. Let's look at old E. Numista. So, this coin, that's our coin. Uh, mintage was six million nine hundred thousand, so that is not very rare. But it's worth fourteen or fifteen bucks, they say. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, something like that. The melt value is seven dollars and sixty-four cents. So, like I said, about eight bucks. And uh, ooh, here's one for under melt. Let's see what we can do there. See, we're learning. Yay. So we'll go to eBay. We'll see what the shipping is. Three dollars shipping, and it ends in five days. Well, that's not really. There's not a lot of meat on that bone. We could go five bucks, maybe. Let's go five bucks. There we go. Confirm bid, and nope, five bucks does not do the trick. So. I'm already out on that one because mine's already better than that one, you know, in condition wise. Um, but it looks like they auction off between 12 and, you know, 10, 12 bucks, 15 if they're real nice. So we paid a fair to slightly high price for it. We didn't like get nailed on it we you know we're five bucks over melt on a coin that you know they're not all in nice shape these coins were meant to be circulated so for all it's worth anyway that's what we got we got so here's two coins for us to look at and we'll keep this video nice and short today but uh two yeah two cool coins one under melt one uh 40 percent over melt <laughs> But uh, them's the breaks, kids. And, uh, yeah. What do you think of this guy? Tell me about that mug. He's mad mugging. He's mogging me. Don't mog me, dog. I will. What? And look at that chunky chew, double chin, having so. Looking at me all wild with them wire glasses. What? Wire frames. Big ears, big ear having messy hair, looking, but you dang two shillings. Whoever heard two shillings? Coins this size later on, it'd have been 25 shillings. You're like slacking, cuz two shillings. Yeah, uh, hold on. I think these are 83.5%. We better write that stuff down. Oh, six, six, four, oh, oh. Ooh, we better write all the goodies down. Point six or oh. Fine. Oh, yeah, that's garbage. I didn't know they'd switch to that so soon. Yeah, that's the kind of rubbish. Point two four six nine ASW. Alright, so this is uh, one tenth of an ounce or so less than a half dollar, but. Um, six tenths of an ounce not tenths, hundredths of an ounce so yeah, 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 yeah one tenth of an ounce six hundredths of an ounce less than a quarter or more than a quarter so it's a six hundredths of an ounce bigger than a quarter and uh, one tenth of an ounce smaller than a half dollar so it's somewhere in between the two is what I'm getting at here, guys. Yeah. So this is your in between a quarter and a half dollar. This is uh, almost a tenth of an ounce more silver than a half dollar. So this is uh, twice the silver as this. That's a 
almost crown size coin on the, the 20 franc there. I mean, you might even consider it a crown, honestly. But it's a big, thick coin, too. It's thick. This, this one's not as thick. This one's thicker. This is a chunky coin. Yeah. Well, guys, let me know what you want to see. I got, uh, like I told you, we got stuff trickling in that I ordered a while back, but uh, all of it's getting sold to pay for the legal fees. But uh, if you guys want to, you know, talk to these people and see what you can find, go to their eBay site, talk to Colleen and get your coins, uh, Ontario, Canada, man. What could be more fun than that? Look at the kitty cat. There's kitty cats. And, I mean, what's better than kitty cats on a crown? All right, guys. Find all the collectibles of your dreams while you're awake. If you cannot find them, do not blame me. I tried to show them to you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and tell your friends about the channel. Um, man, yeah, we're going to be selling some silver. It's going to be amazing. Um, funny thing is, I don't need to go to you guys to sell silver. I, I sell silver. face. I do face-to-face -face deals. I do. It's mostly face-to-face. -face, it's not hard to sell this stuff. I, I thought it was going to be hard. That's the one I want to talk about that real quick. But I thought it was going to be hard to offload this stuff. Man, you know, because I bought it all under melt, it's easy to offload at a profit. I have not sold one thing for less than I paid for. Not one damn thing. There are things I've sold for way more than I paid for. And people gladly bought it. Gladly. I haven't had to use any salesmanship skills, none of that crap. I mean, I, I'd probably be good at that, but I don't need to be good at that because, honestly, guys, you know, everybody that's worried about it, I don't know about this, I don't know about these two, I'm not saying, look, I'm not saying these two specific coins, but I'm saying in general, this stuff sells itself. Like, if I go to somebody with a roll of Canadian silver dollars, they don't ask me, uh, hey man, uh, are those real? I just, um, each one's 0. 0.6 ounces of silver. And they're like, oh, okay. And I sell them at melt, maybe a little above melt. They're actually supposed to carry a premium, but I don't even really mess with that. Because when I bought them, right, silver was $13 an ounce, $14 an ounce. And I was getting them under my, well, you guys watch the videos. Anyway. Take care. Have an amazing day and thank you for watching. Ciao.